I'm in love with fishing and fishing's what I do. And if you wanna try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the day or at night. It don't really matter, I just wanna get that bite. We may catch a limit or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here do. We may fish the ocean or river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your phone and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman wife. Let's go pull them in. <laughs> hey guys, this is your girl Linda with the Life Love Fishing My Wife with the guy she always does it with her fishing is. What's up? Guys, we're back at one of our favorite spots trying yep. to catch bluegill or crappie Ooh. because we want to make some um, chatter. And it either is going to be bluegill chatter or crappie chatter. I see something turning up in there. If that largemouth, we might make some largemouth chatter. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think so. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> if it worked with one fish, it'll work with the other one. Yeah, but guys, when we tasted that um, walleye, it had such a mouth flavor. I was like, this would go, go good in a chatter right yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, but guys, we did it a different way. We fried it. So. We'll do it next time. I'll get another one for the year out. Yep. So guys, let us hurry up because it's an overcast in the sky and like it's about to rain. Let yep. us hurry and catch something before it do rain and run yep. us away. All right. All right. See you all in water. Here again. Yeah, go right in here. Cast fishing. I think there's bluegill right down here. So let's see if it is or not. Oh, there you go. Oh, I may be a little too shallow because I can see my uh, bait down there. Yeah, sometimes that don't matter though. Sometimes it doesn't matter. When they hit it shallow. I have seen them come up and hit it. Well, I can still see the jig. Normally, what I try to do is drop the jig. Uh, just he got one. What he got? I don't know. A bag. We ain't got nothing yet, guys. You ain't get no hit. No, no I hit, no three. nothing. Nothing yet. Yeah, he gone. Yeah, he keep him out. He gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he like, damn, I don't know if this is gonna be much longer. Guys, I think I'm going to try to go a little deeper. I'm going to move my barber. Guys, I, I went deeper, and this is what I came out with. What you think about this since you said we was going to keep 10? Uh, Bigger? Yeah. I don't know. It's up to you. you want to put them in the bucket and then see if you get in the big one, and we'll let them go up and down. Yeah, I can see what size he is. We're measuring. You're a whack one up in the blue in the lake. Oh. Guys, that is a seven inch bluegill. That's seven right there. This is eight. So that's a seven inch bluegill. So I keep it. Let's see, can we get us another one? He's nibbling at it. Come on now, don't nibble. If you're going to nibble, bite. Go ahead and take it, sir, miss, ma'am. Whoever you are. Yeah, oh, I had. No, not yet. Oh. Yes, I did. Thought my legs had gotten weak on me and I had got in the water. I keep getting hits on my twisted tail, but they smaller, so it's plenty of bluebills and purple stuff in here. I had one hooked up, he got off while I see what he was. Well, you getting bites now. Did you see that? I, I did get a bite, but... See, there's a bite there. But like they're I not... They're not... Sometimes it's not going to take it down because you're so deep and it's shallow right there. Okay. If you see it, if you see it lean, if you see it lean, that's a bite. But it's so quick. How do you snatch it? You just, just got to try. Yeah. Okay. Or oh, let your bottle down. A little bit? A couple of inches. Okay. Not a lot. Oh, it's running. Oh, now you're in some grass. Yeah, now. You need the net? Uh, if I get him out of this grass, if I break the line, I'm probably good. All right, I'll go get it. 
Got you got him? Yeah. You gonna send me for the net, now you well, got him. I had to fight, I didn't want to break kick, getting in the grass. Yeah, is he a keeper? Uh, probably so, but. You wanna offer him to that guy? I see, it's not long either. Oops, my top done blew in the water. Your top? Uh, red. I'm gonna try to get it. He is about 14 and a half. 14 and a half right there, so 14 and a quarter. Is he legal? Uh, I think so. You want another bass? Yeah. You want it? Guys, I got another bluegill, but it's a small one. But at least I'm not being skunked. Stop. I'm going to let you go. You just hold your little horses. Okay, I just want to give you some camera time. It's a small one. Now you get to go back, sir. Or miss. What is it? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Find another bag. Is it a bag. Oh, it's a white bag. Oh, nothing there. Okay, then. Yep, we did. When I came back with it, you already had them out. So I guess you're going to do the same with this one. Oh, that's a nice white bass. Yeah. You keeping him? Yeah. I figured they was in here. I don't know why they went by my twisted tail. That's a good one. It is. All right. Maybe I ought to throw my milk spinner. Maybe. You know, oh, I it's a, this side. They I see it's here. a lot of boats coming in. Yeah. Uh, he took my minnow off, and I just caught him with naked jig. Okay. I got another one, and it's a keeper. It is a keeper. It finally got slow, you know, for me to catch it. Guys, I got another one. Let's see how big this one is. He coming out there looking like somebody on all that grass. But don't come out there looking like somebody you get eight. You don't want to get eaten, then you need to look smaller. But guys, we're going to keep this because I think I want to make some um, clam chatter. And I just need like uh, a half a pound of bluegill to do it. So, you know, all you need is just a little piece of it and chop it up into uh, bite-sized pieces or smaller pieces and make the clam chatter. So I think I'm going to keep this one. I know he's not seven like we usually like to keep but i'm gonna keep it anyway so he's gonna go in the bucket with the, with the white bass and the other two bluegills now it's three swimming in all crazy yeah y'all in the bucket of doom that's where you at in the bucket of doom guys i want you all to see how that barber goes down and there's nothing on it See, they messing with it, messing with it. See, nothing. It stood almost all the way up. Let's see what it's going to do now. Come on, man. Get back in sight. The guys, that barber was stand up, like, like right there. Look, you, you would think he was on there. Let's see, can we make it stand up again? Come on. Nope. Oh, they finally got it. They finally got all the meat. Guys, look what fish they got over there. He was all quiet over there. I was way over there. I went from the hollow across the channel, but this is what I caught him with. Guys, I haven't fished with these in a long time. This is a Perry Pippinger uh, hand tie jig. Uh, he passed away a few years ago, but I bought me a kit from him, and they got all different colors in there. And uh, this is one of them. I don't know what that is. It's like an orange and pink and green with some silver flakes. So call him uh, Tip with a minnow. How long do you think that's about? 10? I don't know. The measure is over there. Yeah. The crappie measure is over on the, in that's that right, thing. I'm checking with this one. Since this one's close to me. Guy, we got a variety in that bucket. We got yeah. a, a white bass, we got a few bluegill, and now we got a crappie. Yeah, this is going to be a, a mixed bag lunch for dinner. Ten, he almost ten and a half.
Because that's 10 right there. So whatever 10 and two lines is, what that? <laughs> Uh, I forget those measurements. Longer than 10. Longer than 10. <laughs> he, he more than 10 and a quarter. What's that? 10 and... I'll figure that later. <laughs> oh, God. The veins. That's All a right. good one. That's a good one. Yep. At least he looking like a good one if he ain't a good one. over there. That water a long time. <laughs> you know what? I need you to go back there on your dock yeah, and I get quiet. I think you're right. I'm going to go back and find me another cracker. That's what I think I need you to do. Go over there and get real quiet. <laughs> All right, here it is. So this one is going in the bucket too, y'all. Meet your friends with the golden jacket. <laughs> Guys, good one too. here go another one. He's not as big as that one we just caught. No, he's not, and he's in that grass. Yeah. That grass was, was trying to hold you back, sir. That grass was trying to help you out. I told you those bluegill was in here in this whole thing. But I'm sorry, but I couldn't. I could never get one. They bite. That's all right. You keep trying until they, until they, the thing got better. That's right? They got, got they got slower, or I got faster. One of the yeah. two. But he's going in there and enjoying his friends. Guy fishing this ain't put enough water in there, so he finna put some more water in there. I just want to video him, just in case he started losing them. Look at that. Look, he gets two big fish out there. Leave my little ones in there. Who gives a run? I get plenty of them always. There you go. That's too much. Yeah, now they finna hop out of there. Yeah, I'm pull some of I'd better have too much than try to dip again on this bad knee. There you go. All right. Well, he didn't lose one this time. He, we didn't have no casualties. over there. That's okay. Two Guys, guys it looks like on the busiest day, the crappie want to bite. <laughs> so you want to measure them? Uh, yeah. I should have got the crappie measure instead of that one, huh? Okay. One by ten and a half, one by ten. You think so? Yeah, I think this is the ten right here. Yep, that's the 10 right there. Oop, and this is the 10 and a half right here. Oop. And I go get the bucket. And like this, Dr. Hot is Doc. Oop. He ain't that much longer. He's 10 and a quarter. Yeah, right. 10 and a quarter. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Oh, I'll get out of your way. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Nice. Yeah, that's a nice crappie there. Yeah, that's about a 10 and a half. Yeah, good eating size. Eat that. <laughs> hey, good luck. Thanks. Yep. Oh, the crappie are in. Maybe we'll have some crappie chatter. <laughs> yeah. Instead of that bluegill that chatter. Sudden. You sure you don't want to bring the bucket down this way? No. With the measure? Okay, then you'll be in the way. Yeah, really stay down there out of the way. I can walk. Okay. That one kind of small. I think I'm gonna let that one go. Keep no, you're right. not. <laughs> no, you're not. Why not? Because if we're gonna make chatter, all we need is a little small fillet to chop up. That's all. You got four or five. Shut up and put that thing in the bucket, well, dude. You gonna walk with him then. I, I will. I absolutely will. Guys, look what he wants to throw back. That is nine all day. You see the nine right there? I don't know if you see it, but there's nine. Here's 10, that's 10 and a half, and that's nine on the money. So why he want to throw a nine inch crappie away? I don't know, but guys, he going in the bucket. <laughs> on the ground is going in the bucket as fishing is say. All right, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. I'm just using this uh, Perry Pippinger uh, one, one sixteen ounce jig head. I uh, got a uh, six pound strand on here. This is my one piece. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is my two piece, eight feet 
uh, ACC crapper stick. Uh, and I'm just jigging down side of these dots. Sometimes I put a mental on there and sometimes I won't, but I've caught just as many with mentals as I have without it. I get a hit with the mental and I put it right back down there sometimes after they knock the mental off and just try naked jig. So right now I'm back on naked jig again. If, they, if I don't get a hit after a while, I go back with a mental. So I keep alternating it. It look like some of them want the mental and some of them don't. So it's good to try both of them till you find out what they want the best. But I can say this, uh, I caught my biggest one on the naked jig, which is weird. Normally you catch the bigger one on the mental, but sometimes they just want it that way, you know. You never know how they want it, so you have to let them tell you how they want it. And the only way you're going to do that is by trying different techniques. Got another one, guys. Got another one. I don't know how many that is, but that one about ten and a half. All right, we're gonna go see how how long this one is. I missed him, guys. I got him all the way on top of the water, and he came off, and I went right back down there and got him right back. I guess that's the same one. No, nope. you had it in your hand. Yeah, I think he about ten and a half. Why you were telling me to throw the other one back? He was nine. He was nine. Yeah, yes, I keep nine. I keep nine when they ain't catching ten and a half and ten. Sure. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, this one is a little over ten. There it is. That's ten right there. I don't know if it's in there. Oh yeah, that's ten right there. All right, that's another one for the bucket. I caught that one with a mental. I went down the docks two or three times uh, with just a jig. So I decided to go back to minnows and that worked out. All right, we'll get another minnow on there. What'd you say? At this lake, there's no limit, right? You, I mean, I know there's no size limit, but there, is there a limit amount? It's 25, right? You can only catch, keep 25. We are, yeah, 25. It used to be, uh, no limit on fan fish, but this year I haven't checked the regulations, so I'm just sticking with the normal 25. <laughs> okay, and that's that, that's with both pan fish, the, yeah, the crappie, with, yeah, and bluegill. I forgot to get yeah, a book when I got my license, so I got to uh, get a book and, and check the. Cause man, they change. Oh, ain't even know they change from from year to year. All right, yeah. all right, guys. Every time I catch one with a minnow, the uh, minnow gets off, and the birds swoop down to get the minnow. Let's see if I can get I got that, that mineral right there is floating, so I'm gonna see how long it takes the bird to come get it. Sometimes they come right away and sometimes they let it float for a while before they decide they want it. I just missed one guys. When I pulled it up to uh, to adjust the line, he came up and caught the tail on the middle and uh, didn't get the whole jig, but I saw his whole body. Let me see if he'll take it. That might be a, a jig only fish since he's just catching the tail on that middle. He's not really wanting it because if a cropper want it, he's going to hit that thing with a hard thump. And that one, he wasn't very big. I say he probably was a nine, but nine is good enough to, to eat. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't want it back. But he did, guys. He came and hit that thing, and, and uh, hold on to the tail. That's all right. Can't catch them all. Yep, you can't catch them all. And then came and got that mental, yeah, guy. I, I might be too close to it. They normally do it after I walk off. 
So uh, that's probably what they're waiting on me to do. Walk away from it before they come up and get it. I'm surprised the crappie don't come up and get that mineral on top of the water like that. Or a bass or something, but nope. I just seen a bluegill. I can see fish in here chasing, guys. I'm telling you. That's why I'm surprised nothing got that mineral off top of the water except birds. But I'm seeing bluegill chasing minnows. I'm seeing crappie, little bass. All right. Guys, I don't know how long it's supposed to rain today, but it's been raining off and on. Started at about three this morning. It'll rain for a little while, then it'll quit. Rain another little while, then it'll quit. And now it's starting back again, but I know a big storm is supposed to come through about uh, seven or eight tonight. So we're trying to get our little fishing in and get back home before the weather started getting bad. They talking about squall lines and hail and possible tornadoes again. Guys, we've been having a fiery spring so far. Well, now it's summer. What's this, the first week of summer? So that's normally when the weather starts to change and get charged, the air get charged, and those thunderstorms and stuff pop up like that. All right, I didn't get one on that lap. All right, guys, I just missing those. As soon as I turn the camera off, so I'm gonna leave it on this time, see if I can get that one. I think that's that same light biting one. But he didn't take the minnow off, but he hit it again. I might have to take that minnow off and just naked jig that one. But as of now, I'm just gonna leave it on there. See if he gets slower, I get faster. What's that? <laughs> yep, he gone. Yeah, it is starting to rain hard again, guys. We might have to call it a day or go to the car for a little bit until this rain slack up. But uh, we'll see. Yep. Hello. He's healthy. He's not 14 though, so guess what? I can't get this one away. No. All right, this one get to go back. He's gone. Guys, we have some nice game wardens around here. Around this state park area. They always help the little kiddos and communicating with them and giving them high fives and stuff. I, I like seeing that. Game warden is not bad, guys. Just people who um, doing stuff illegal don't want to see them, but most of the time they just out, make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do and uh, making sure everybody's legal, you know, and not over harvesting. That's their job. So if you treat them right, they treat you right. But uh, they always like to go and talk to the little kiddos and help them fish sometime and give them high five. Sometimes they give them little badges. I don't know if they uh, have any of those anymore, but they used to give them little honorary game warden badges that you could stick on your shirt. Well, guys, it's winding on down. We are uh, going to try to catch a few more, then we're going to get out of here. That's a nice crappie there. That's got to be a 12. That's got to be a 12 there, partner. That's a good one. That's the biggest of the day. That's the biggest of the day. That's a 12. Maybe not a 12, 11 and a half. 
Crappie? Yeah. I got about eight. Yeah, he might be 12. Oh yeah. He's 12 easy cause. 12 is at the tip of that and he's over there. He's over that guy. Yeah, partner. That was a good one. What you gonna do to him? Put him in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Go get another man. Hey guys, I got something here. I don't know what this is. What is that? Another bass? Yep, another bass. No. Yeah, that's a little one. There he is. Probably about 10, 11 inches. We're going to let him go. He gone. Okay, I caught that one on Twisted Tail. That's quite the heaven down to here. There we go. That's a good one. Probably 10 and a half. Yeah, that's the first one I no, that's the second one I got on the twisted tail. Why not? I caught that one on the grub. Really? Yeah. I got about halfway and I just threw it over the bank and just started walking and boom, he hit it. I think he about ten and a half. Gotta wash it off a little bit. See if made the tail better. Oh yeah. That's 10, that's 10 and a half. He's right on 10 and a half. 10 and a half. All right. All right, I guess I'm yo. Come get him, put him in the bucket, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lost that one. Yeah, it was a little one. I lost that one, guys. He's a little one. Guys, I just I just got that twister tail hanging over side of the dock, just walking slow. Letting that twister tail do its thing and boom. We're gonna have to call uh, let, let her know the crop in here cause she won't crop it. That's her favorite thing. She like, I want the crappie. I'm getting ready to go, guy, but I don't want to go now. I know Linda quit fishing. I think she might be ready to go, but I ain't ready to go just yet. I got a few more hours in me. <laughs> She might have 15 minutes, but we'll see. She don't like this rain, guys. It keeps raining and stopping, raining and stopping. And she hate coming out here and then got to quit. But me, as long as it's just doing this, I'm fishing this. This ain't no problem for me. Oh, yeah, I will fish in this. Yeah, no problem for me. As long as the fish biting, 
I got a raincoat, but I haven't needed the guy. I haven't went to a truck that one time. My clothes are not wet. It's just sprinkling so lightly. I get a few drops on me. It'll do it for five minutes or so, then it'll quit. We had one good spur where it did about 10 minutes, but I still didn't get wet. So. We'll see. Guys, earlier I was fishing this, fishing this little twisted tail without a shot of weight on it. And uh, I don't think it was getting down full enough. So now that I got that weight on there, it's getting down in the strike zone better. So I honestly believe that's why I'm catching them. And I kept telling London, I said, I need to go get a shot of weight because it's just not it's just not going where I need it. So you either can put a shot of weight on there or you can get a heavier jig. And uh, the next side up is 1.8. And I didn't want a 1.8, so I just put a shot of weight on there and uh, make that 1 16th dive down a little easy, deeper. I like 1 8 for crappie. I mean for uh, walleye bass, but I do I do use it occasionally for crappie. But most of the time in this area, you only need 1 16th or 1 32nd. And sometimes smaller when it's cold and finicky. Did this right here make me stay out here the dark. <laughs> I know Linda went like that, so I wouldn't do it. But if I by myself, I would stay out here the dark until I get as many as I feel like cleaning. With some pretty clothes to that now. Yep, I'm pretty close to that now. I think I got another bass. Yep, another bass. Yep. <laughs> A little large mouth. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to let him go. Oh, really? No. <laughs> I got about 10 crappie and four bluegill. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's like my fourth bass. Oh, awesome. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. yeah I love it. Oh, yeah, they're good. <laughs> what are you using? Minnows? Yeah, I'm using minnows, and uh, I caught a few of those crappie on just a naked jig. I know it's like a... Uh, uh, Marabou hair jig. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> I think I caught about five on the mental and five on this naked jig here. Yeah. guys we're all done fishing yeah and the fish determine what kind of chatter we're gonna have <laughs> and it's gonna be crappie oh is it uh, yes i'm gonna show you all what we call let me show you the end one two three four five bluegill that's enough for chowder but we got more crappie than we do chatter yeah, and those been... are small bluegill so yeah well you you said you wanted five or six small ones to do some chowder <laughs> guys Crappy chatter it is. I don't know what he <laughs> talk about, but crappy it is. Uh, we can live with that. Well, I can live with that. Uh, guys, we caught a few bass. Uh, I caught all the little uh, bluegills that's down there. He yeah. caught all the crappy, as you saw. Yeah. And he caught the bass, which we gave one away, and the rest of them was too small to even yeah. do anything with. Yeah. But guys, uh, we would like for you all to meet us in the kitchen for this Friday fish fry. Or in this case, uh, fish chowder. Well, this child. <laughs> <laughs> See you all in the kitchen. Guys, I have cleaned my five little bluegill that I had, that I caught, that Fish and Ed told me that I had to clean myself. So I just scaled them and cut the head out. Uh, Fish and Ed has his all laid out, get ready to um, 
play them two four six he has eight crappie and then he has this white bass that's down there so guys he's gonna get these all cleaned up and filleted and we're gonna chop them up in smaller pieces and we're gonna make the crappie chatter see you all when we get all the ingredients together guys this right here these are the crappie fillets and we are going to make the um, crappie chatter and guys they said that we need that I need to cut these up in small pieces so this is the thickest part of the crappie right here this is the thickest part so I'm going to cut these up in small pieces like this they say I need about a pound of this. So these are nice size little pieces right here. So I'm going to cut all these um, crappie up like that. Uh, I'm just going to, this is pretty thin. I'm not going to cut that anymore. And uh, the white bass. And the bluegills are in the refrigerator. So I have about a, these many. We kind of figure that this right here may equal up to maybe a pound right here. So when I get them all cut up, guys, I'll be back with you. Guys, I forgot to tell you. Make sure you get this lateral line out right here. Because uh, when you... Um, I want to say steam cooking it because you're not really boiling it. But when you uh, boiling it as well, the bones doesn't get hard enough to crunch on. But when you frying them, yes, the bone get hard enough for the crunch on. Uh, fish and eggs say they dissolve. I don't think they dissolve. I think that they just fry hard enough that you can uh, chew on that little thin bone that's in that lateral line. So... Um, but when you uh, or when you not frying them, they don't get hard at all. So make sure you get that lateral line out of there. And guys, you can absolutely feel it. Like I can feel bones right here. So that is that lateral line. So I'm just going to take that knife and go right down the side of it. Cut a little thin piece off. Right here. So this is all you're doing. It's just getting... Yeah, yes, this knife is dull. So, this right here is just full of bones, guys. I don't know. I mean, you all can see. I know you all can see me hitting that bone. So, guys, this is how much meat that I have. So, um, I'm going to finish cutting it up. And once I do, I'm going to take you all over to the stove and let you all see uh, me frying up the bacon in the process of this um, crappie chatter. Hey guys, this is the bacon I'm frying up. I fry up just about four pieces that I have cut up in uh, smaller pieces. And guys, the aroma from this bacon smells like somebody needs to be eating breakfast right now. It smells so good. But here is all the ingredients that I need. I need this um, heavy whipping cream, one can of cream corn, celery, carrots, onions. Uh, they recommend use um, water, but I want to use chicken stock. Give it a little bit more flavor, kick it up a notch. Uh, two potatoes cut up in cubes, two medium sized potatoes cut up in cubes, and one pound of your fish of choice. Whether it's bluegill or crappie or northern pike, perch, whatever you want to use that's a mild tasting fish, that what I would that's what I would do. Uh, I don't really like chatter. I have had chatter before, clam chatter. I didn't like it. But guys, we're gonna see can we spice this up a little bit so that I can like I that I will like it. So we're gonna get this right here all browned up. Then we're going to get it drained, and then we're going to put our celery, carrots, and onions in there and get them softened up a little bit, and we'll be back with you. Guys, the bacon is done. The only thing I hate about cooking bacon 
this bacon will pop. It will pop you. So we're gonna put it on here so it can drain on that paper towel so it can drain. So we're gonna get the rest of this out of here. And guys, that is too much bacon fat for anybody to be cooking in. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna drain a little bit of it in here. I just need a little bit of that bacon grease to saute my veggies in. That's probably enough. Now, there are my veggies. So we're gonna get these sauteed up. And guys, once this is sauteed, we'll get back with you all and we'll show you the next few steps. Okay guys, now I'm gonna put the potatoes in here. And guys, I like to season in layers. So yes, I did season my potatoes. I seasoned my vegetables with salt and pepper. Um, or you could just season the, the soup. So uh, I'm gonna let this cook about two to three minutes. Um, and then once it's cooked two to three minutes, I'm gonna add four cups of chicken broth. But you can put four cups of water if you would like. I just think that the chicken broth, the chicken stock, will add a little bit better of a flavor. So guys, this is my cup right here. I don't know if you all can see that. I think it's upside down. But this is a cup. So I'm going to add four of these in here. One. Two. Three, four. So now guys, I have it on high heat and I am going to let this simmer until those potatoes get um, tender and those vegetables get tender. And once that happens, then I'm going to add in the cream corn and the crappie and the heavy whipping cream. And guys, and after that, we'll be ready to eat. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to put the uh, heavy whipping cream in here and the uh, cream corn. My fork can easily go through that potato. Let's check the carrot and see. It easily goes through the carrot. So, but you know, we're cooking it a little bit longer. And if you don't like your, um, if you don't like your, vegetables really soft then you can stop it at any um, consistency you like uh, but I like mine soft I don't like to crunch on when I'm in eating soup I don't like to crunch on anything so uh, we're gonna get that put away now we're gonna put one cup of heavy heavy whipping cream in here let's get this well, first, let's get this shaken up. Shake it up. Get all that good stuff from the bottom of that container so to mix up well with the rest of it. Now, we're going to take one cup of the heavy whipping cream and we're going to put it in. All right. Now, we're going to take half of this bacon right here that we cooked and we're going to put it in there. And the other half is going to go on top of the um, soup. This right here. These are the crappie. And we're going to put that in there. All right. Now we're going to stir it. Guys, my pot is almost too small. We're going to get this well combined. And once we get it well combined, we'll be back with you. Guys, this is everything that's well combined. Um, everything is in here from the heavy whipping cream to the carrots, potatoes, celery, onion, bacon, crappie, uh, heavy whipping cream, and the chicken stock. 
So in a few minutes, we will be ready to eat. And God, this would be my first time tasting this with you guys. So I have never made this before. I have never cooked this before. I forgot my cream corn is in there as well. So, um, guys, you're going to get the true expression because, like I said, I have not tasted this before. And I have not tasted it since I've been cooking it. Guys, this is the, the chowder right here. Um, this bowl is kind of hot, so I'm going to use this as... So I'm going to taste it without anything. <laughs> this fish in there, stop. Okay, I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything. Just like clam chowder. It got a, it got it got a, a fishy smell, yeah. like clam chowder, because the fish is in there. Mm-hmm. Hot potatoes. Can't take nothing with them hot potatoes. Not bad at all. I taste the potatoes. Now I'm going to top it with the bacon because they said that you can top it with bacon. We're going to taste it with the bacon. Guys, it's hot. It just came out the pot, so. Not bad. Would you do it again? Nope. Too much work. You wasn't even in here for the work. You was outside painting the porch. Now, Stina, I know a lot of work went into this besides from laying them, sauteing them, eating them, or frying them and eating them. Got that bacon on top of them. Ooh, you want to glove it on yours? Okay. All right, now I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese on here. Just just uh, kicking it up a notch. See, there goes the Parmesan cheese with the little bacon that's crumbled up in there. Not my bacon. And then I'm going to try some crackers. We got some oyster crackers. That, you know, the soup crackers. Um, awesome. Guys, I don't like clam chowder. But I cannot lie to you. This is not bad. I like clam chowder. And this is all right too. So. But, I only do clam chowder once a year, so. Yeah. I, I can do this once a year and be good. <laughs> So, guys, I will put the uh, recipe in the description down below. So, if you want to try your bluegill, crappie, any pan fish that you can't catch, you want to try it in a different way. Guys, these are some great recipes that's not bad. And also, guys, make it your own. Uh, if you don't like something, leave it out. If you like more of something, put more of it in there. Um, it wasn't that much work. I mean, yeah, you have to cut up the onion, the carrots, the celery, and all that. That's a little work, but that's okay. I'm well, talking about compared to frying them or sauteing them. That's all I'm saying. But it's not, it's not that bad. I'll just mess with No. Up. With the crackers, it kick it up a notch. With the bacon, it kick it up even more. So I like it, and I'm not a, a, a seafood eater like that. Uh, like Alfredo with um, shrimp in it, it's too fishy. I can't do it. Mm -mm. That's that's it. Yeah, he loved it. So, guys, until our next adventure, we're asking you to make tomorrow better than today. And until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace, y'all. We out of here. Now that fishing's over, sun is getting low. Yes, I caught a big one, but I just had to let him go. Yes, he was a nice one. He was the biggest of the day. Show sure felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away. May not ever see him again. This I know is true. But now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Glad you came to fish with me. Yes, it was really nice. Maybe we can go again on the life of a fisherman's wife. 
Until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace.